But this is the thing that was so interesting about it. My dad stood in front of each one quietly and moved from one to the other. And I still mark it as a point of some growth in my life at that point that I didn't run up to him and just start saying, oh, is it culture now? Is it culture now? And some of his young ones. I just let him have his own experience. And to this day, I've never even asked him about it. But what I came away from it was understanding what I said earlier is that one's relationship to these things has to do with a certain kind of proximity. Now, I want to make a slight little transition to acknowledge somebody, Mr. Jacob Holtz here. One of the greatest books ever, American Pictures, had a profound impact on me in much the same way that Juke Joint does. Because when I saw that book, I had never seen pictures that looked like the Mississippi that I grew up inside of. I love William Eggleston, but it's completely different. Got its own kind of edginess, but aestheticized in the way. And part of what's so amazing about his photographs in that book is how, and I'm not trying to make no place that naive, there's nothing naive about them at all, but how they are profound out of artifacts of a kind of fearlessness. And because my first thing when I saw him was like, wow, this actually looks like the homes of my classmates I grew up in many. But then I was like, how the fuck did he get these pictures? I mean, things like that. Like, what, before I knew anything about him or his philosophy or anything like that, I was amazed that what they suggested might be possible in terms of making photographs of black people's lives, you know, or Southern's lives for that matter. So, it's so interesting, this whole idea of proximity to things and what's close to people and what's not close to people and what people could process.